Shorty got that mind. Mind. Yes, on the phone. Hey, Shorty got that Hey. Okay, guys, I'm in a driving position today. Once again, I'm on my way to my class, and I thought I would come and talk to that ass about the Stevie J. Jocelyn. I'm sorry, Stevie J. and Jocelyn. That too. I wanted to talk about that too, but the Jocelyn Young Miami and all of that. Now, first and foremost, okay. If I was Young Miami, first of all, let me tell you guys what happened, okay? Young Miami realized that Hazel E. had made a diss track against her. If you guys don't know, Hazel E. claimed that Young Miami and JT stole one of her songs. Um, that Young Miami and JT stole one of her songs. And basically stole a beat to her song and stole some of her music, okay? So, of course, Young Miami and JT are going to deny that stupid bastard. Of course, Young Miami and JT are going to deny that. So, they denied it, okay? Um, but, recently, it seems like Hazel E. didn't let it go, okay? Hazel E.'s, oh, pinched nose, pluck feather head ass, gonna make a diss track about the other ladies about Jocelyn and Young Miami or about not Jocelyn about JT and Young Miami here's my thing Hazel E just wants to get on the level of Young Miami so she's trolling the hell out of her and 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 Young Miami bit to the bait okay so Hazel E makes this diss track about Young Miami and JT and she has this picture of her holding on to them like they're babies or whatnot and I thought it was funny I thought it was cute but I thought it was tacky too, because at the end of the day, you're not a rapper. Where, when did you, and where did you become a rapper at? I'm trying to figure that part out. Like, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on, because I'm driving and talking. I'm trying to figure out where did you become a rapper at, Hazel E. I don't, I don't, I don't ever remember hearing any music that she's done that she's actually put out on the show or anything like that. I remember she just was working in the studio and that was that. Now all of a sudden, you're supposed to be some bona fide rapper making uh, diss tracks about real ass rappers. And as much as I feel like Young Miami and JT music is kitty bop for, for like 20 something year olds that's from the South that really just think ratchet, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like they have at least become real damn artists. I'm just saying they've at least put their foot in where they can, you know, be in there as real damn artists, okay? Now, so Jocelyn makes a comment underneath the picture. Why? I don't know. I don't know why she would be bigging up Hazel E making a diss track about Young Miami. Why? I mean... What is that fence to do for her? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what it's fence to do. So Jocelyn, she goes and she says, yeah, go off, bitch. Like, that stuff, that shit is tight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, okay, go off. And the next thing you know, there goes Young Miami pissed. Young Miami was so mad. Now, first of all, Young Miami don't realize that she didn't ran into two trolls and all these girls want to do it. And I'm sorry to talk, call Jocelyn a troll, hey. I'm sorry to call Jocelyn a troll, but she's trolling Young Miami. What do you do when, when you're trolling? You're trolling Young Miami, for real, for real. Okay? So, she gave in, bit the bait. Instead of just... What is this person doing? First, you're going to turn on the freeway, then you're not. Figure your life out. At first, at first I was like, okay, Young Miami ain't going to pay these hoes no mind. But what does Young Miami do? She writes a whole soliloquy calling Jocelyn a cokehead, calling Hazel E a cokehead, all of this other stuff, a whole fucking soliloquy. And I was thinking to myself, I'm mad at her now. I'm mad at her because I wanted her 
to look at them bitches and be like, fuck y'all broad. Y'all bitches ain't shit. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to keep my phone up by um sitting it on the dashboard, but that shit's not working and it's kind of making me mad. Like, if I sit it like right in here, I was hoping it would work, but it's not. Yeah, it's not working. Fuck. But yeah, so my whole thing is Jesus is crowded on this freeway. My whole thing is, if I was young Miami, I'd have ignored them hoes. Because what I feel like this did, instead of bringing Hazel E and Jocelyn up, it brought young Miami down. That's what I'm saying. And I don't know if you guys understand what I mean by that. But, no. Hi, guys. Hi, Lynn J. Hi, Sharonda, Consuela, and Sarah. I just, my messages just started popping in, really, to be honest. Okay. But I'm just now, um, I'm on my way to my class. Yesterday was crazy. I was so tired yesterday. I could barely even read. It was crazy. Hi, Linda. Hey, KK. Yeah, yesterday was so crazy. I almost fell out. Fell out. But like I said, if I was young Miami, I'd have paid them hoes in dust, honey. They wouldn't have got a damn no, a, a pinch of attention from me. I tell you that. Um. So, speaking of Jocelyn, Stevie J is now being dragged for, for dragging Jocelyn basically he didn't call her a bad mama he done said she was on drugs he done said he she's incapable of taking care of the baby he done said all when i say all kinds of stuff about her she's not a good parent she kept him away from her her away from him um she done said all kinds of stuff just so much just so much and um and so now he's getting dragged for dragging Jocelyn. Good, you should. I feel like you need to. Drag his ass some more. Drag him till his knees start to buckle underneath him. Do that because I feel like Stevie J is a wrong ass dude. Stevie J is one of the most scandalous ass maneuvering ass dudes that I have ever seen. He janky. He just straight scandalous. And um, the way he do these women he does it so smooth to the point where they feel like it's okay. They feel like it's normal. That's what baby daddies do when they don't want to stay with the woman and all that. And that's not, no. Stevie J, the way he moves is just so wrong. I don't know what to say. Down to even like marrying your friend's woman. Like you had been, obviously been messing with her. And you know... And she had obviously been there through all of that stuff with you and Jocelyn. You know, nobody's fooled and think that y'all just now falling in love or none of that stuff. And, you know, and y'all have been friends, good friends. Don't nobody, ain't nobody that stupid. Nobody's that dumb, okay? We know that y'all have been messing around and, and was messing around when she graced that stage that Jocelyn was on. When Jocelyn was uh, doing her performance on her and Stevie J's show. He even had that girl on her and Stevie J's show. So I know that Jocelyn is just hurt all the way around. She already been really abandoned by family and stuff. So in a way, in tying the two stories together, I could see how she would be, um, like, you know, how she would be prone to wanting to be on... Um, Hazel East side when it comes to you know when it comes to uh, this beef with young Miami so she I feel like she has a gangbang mentality and she always has and she gotta stop that she has like a not a gangbang like a like a gang mentality to the point where she feels like <clears throat> it's them or us and she's always felt like that and this time I feel like it came to bite her back in her butt because she was trying to do that stuff with Stevie, like, okay, well, it's going to be her or me, or them or me, when it comes to even his kids, or, you know what I'm saying, and, and it bit her in the ass, like, no, ain't nobody finna just be choosing you over everybody in life, I don't know what the hell makes you think that that's normal, you're just not, you're not, you're not all that, it's not that serious, that I got to choose you over everybody that I come in contact with, like, I'm just saying, but at the end of the day, Stevie J is a janky dude, and he know he is. He's jankalicious. Drive! What the fuck is... Oh, my God, dude. Come on, Atlanta.
anyway what's the name of this video i forgot what else i was supposed to talk about because these people throwing my thoughts you missed it quite a bit i've just been rambling 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 uh-oh police the police oh a pull, a pull, pull. Hold on. Exit only. Oh God, I didn't got on the exit only part. Okay. Somebody tell me what the name of this video is. I done forgot what else I wanted to talk about. It's called Young Miami, Hazel E and Jocelyn. Plus what? What did it say? What else did it say? Come on, y'all drive. Come on, folks. Buddy, buddy. Oh, yeah. Omari oh, Hardwick. What the hell is going on? with Omari Hardwick and the fact that he actually owes he actually owes owed 50 cent $20,000 why does everybody owe 50 cent $20,000 I don't understand 20,000 or more you gonna pay 50 his money that's on God you are okay everybody owes 50 cent money let me tell you something Omari Hardwick recently came out he said that he owed 50 cent $20,000 but that he paid him back with interest well, good damn job, because if not, you would have been getting trolled on the internet. But I think that 50 Cent trolling people gives them life again. It brings them back. Look at Young Buck. Wasn't nobody checking for no Young Beezy. Now, all of a sudden, people is checking for him. I'm just saying. I wasn't checking for Young Buck. That's all I'm saying. But it trips me out how 50 Cent out here paying people money and then trolling like he's letting them borrow money. And then he's trolling them on the internet when they don't pay him back. It's like now you know not to even ask him to borrow no money. If you borrow some money from him, you stupid. Besides that, Tierra Marie said that she sent him fifty dollars in a uh, fifty cent in a money order one day. She said that's all that she's paid him is fifty cent in a money order. And I, I was like, this girl gonna end up going to jail. Anyway, I'm almost to my class, so let me just say this right quick. The, the Tierra Marie video of her on my website is now under the red membership and it's in the celebrity uploads um, on flicks for flicks in celebrity uploads for adult entertainment. And plus, uh, T-Hive Movie Night is now for red members only. So if you're in the red, if you have a red membership on the website, you can be in T Hive Movie Night. If you have a clear membership, you get the book club and you get cable TV. And I'm gonna be uploading some more, uh, another season of some stuff today. I know I'm missing episode six from Love and Hip Hop. No, 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 no. I got that episode, didn't I? From Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I gotta figure out. I know I'm missing uh, like one episode from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I'm gonna go find it um, and put it on there. But it's all caught up to date. Y'all enjoy. I'm almost at my class, so let me go. Let me know what y'all thought about them three topics that I talked about. And why is everybody borrowing money from 50 Cent? I need to cover my eyebrows up, child. All right, why is everybody borrowing money from 50 Cent? And why do I paint so much and work so much that I neglect doing the pretty stuff that I'm supposed to do to be pretty, but I'm still so pretty? Answer that for me, all right? Leave it down.